What is up guys? Welcome back to the Lightspeed Social Agency YouTube channel. I recently picked the CRM that I will be using for my new lawn care business, Canyon Creek Lawn Care. If you've been watching the channel, I've been tracking the, the launch of this new lawn care business. I've been messing around with some different CRMs and I have finally settled on the one I'm going to use. Now, as many of you know, I worked for a lawn care CRM for five years, uh, but does knowing them so well mean that I went with them? You got to stay tuned to the end of the video to find out who I am using. I'm going to present pros and cons for each of the three CRMs that I considered. I'm going to toss in a few honorable mentions that might be a great fit for your business um, and reveal what tool I will be using for Canyon Creek Lawn Care. Strap in. This video is sponsored by Lightspeed Plus. That is our in-house marketing toolbox for lawn care and landscaping business owners who are too busy to fuss with every detail of their growth strategy. If you have 30 minutes a couple times a week to dial in your ads and drive results, Lightspeed Plus gives you the ad copy, all the creative, and guides to mirror my marketing strategies in your business. Okay, let's jump in. Okay, we're going to start with just telling you the three that we're going to be comparing today. That is Service Autopilot, Copilot, and Jobber. Okay, so Service Autopilot. I worked there for many years. A lot of you know me from when I hosted on Lawn Care Millionaire, when I hosted the Profit Roadmap podcast with my boy Bear. I have a number of friends still on staff there. And it's a, you know, just to go over the pros really quick, it's designed initially by someone who understood our industry, right? Jonathan knows lawn care inside and out. He is... Uh, you know, he doesn't want to be called the lawn care millionaire, but let's face it, he is the lawn care millionaire and who's who a lot of us look up to in the industry. I know this software really well. It does a lot of things really, really well. Quick cons. It is a little bit older of a software tool, right? So it was one of the first to market with the big push to always online cloud software solutions. And that was fantastic at the time. It was competing with software that ran you know, dedicated on your computer, which meant if your laptop died, you lost a bunch of records. You know, if you didn't have it backed up properly, that sucks. Um, Service Autopilot by bypassed a lot of those issues with like the older version of Clip. I know the new version of Clip is, is I believe, cloud-based now. So one of the things that, you know, I got to knock points on Service Autopilot for is the, the recent price increases. I, I really hate that I'm getting priced out of using a tool that I, I worked on for years um, and supported for years. And then the last thing here is the way the, the ownership structure of Service Autopilot, the way that that works now is there is integration with the credit card processor that is in the chain of ownership of the business. And that's a little different from the way Copilot or Jobber integrates payment, right? They work with third party processors but they are not owned by those processors. You're still locked in in the same way that uh, is not great, right? You have to use whatever processor these softwares want you to use. For Jobber, it's Stripe. I don't recall what it is for Copilot. But the, the issue there is if your CRM is tied to your credit card processor, your credit card processor gets to decide what percentage of your revenue they take for providing that service, and you're locked in, they can increase that rate until you hit a breaking point where you have to uproot your whole company and leave the CRM. And I'm just not a huge fan of that being something that I'm tied to where the company that benefits from increasing that fee also owns the software tool that I'm using. I think that that creates a, a direct issue there that makes me uncomfortable as a user. Hey, if this breakdown so far has been helpful to you, give this video a like. Okay, let's jump in and talk about Copilot. Now, Mike Andes is... You know, one of those guys who everybody in the industry knows who he is. You love it. You know, high energy gets shit done. He is one of those guys. I've met him many times. I've had him and Liz on the, uh, the podcast in the past. If you're not subscribed, you can get that feed in your podcast app, Lightspeed Lawn Care Marketing, wherever you listen to podcasts. Okay, so pros. Again, this is designed by someone who knows our industry really, really well. It's dedicated to our industry. And it's making all of the moves in the right direction that I want to see from a CRM. That said, cons are it's a little bit of a clunky design for a new application, which sucks, right? I really would like to see it move a little more fluidly. I've used it for clients that, that are using Copilot. It is functional. It's not something that I want to take on the clunkiness of. I don't want to be a beta tester for 
the first generation of Copilot. I want it to be on version three, version four, before I'm dedicating all of my time to, you know, forming my business around it. I just think it needs a lot of TLC to be ready. It feels very startup at the moment. And, you know, I want to see Mike succeed. I'm not a huge fan of the big push in Copilot, and I'm sure Jobber's going to announce something, I'm sure Service Autopilot is, with like, oh, we're going to integrate AI and all of this bullshit that I don't need, right? I can write my own sentences. I don't need an AI to write them for me. And, you know, the second time you find yourself writing an email, you should be saving it in a Google Doc so you can copy and paste it in the future, right? You say the same things to customers all day long, save it in a note, use it again, you don't need a robot to speak for you. I promise Your whatever your ability is use Grammarly, which is, which is powered by AI uh, machine learning, use Grammarly to make sure that you're spelling your words correctly, that everything is grammatically correct. If you know that that's something you struggle with, um, but you don't need a robot to speak for you. I promise. And we don't need these companies investing thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars integrating with AI chatbots that aren't going to do anything for us. Now, if these chatbots are able to demonstrate that they can do things that are functional, cool beans, let's have at it. Um, I think probably I'm more interested in buying that from a company that does AI directly, not interested in having a my CRM be a middleman to a like shitty, not purpose-built AI tool. Okay, the final one here is Jobber. Now, I've met the marketing team at Jobber at GIE. I've worked on stuff with Paul Jameson, the Green Industry Podcast for Jobber. One of the pros is that the payments are processed through Stripe. That is already the credit card processor that I use for everything at Lightspeed, so I'm familiar with their processes. I have had a single, in, in all my years in business, a single instance of a chargeback, and I was able to provide all of the documentation to Stripe. They reviewed it. They, they sided with me as the merchant, which is, you know, really rare to be able to, to get. And it was because I had, you know, the, the trail of documents showing this and I presented it to them and they said, Hey, yeah, we, we believe you, you know, you've only ever had one of these ever. And it seems like it's well documented on your side. So the other, another pro it's efficient for the few things I need it for. I want to put in customers, put them on a schedule, bill them and be able to contact them through it. I don't need it to do a zillion other things. And it's a mature product with lower technical debt. And technical debt is this idea in the software industry that as you're building, as you're growing, you are building in later problems for yourself as the business scales. And you do this in your business too. It's not necessarily technical debt, but it is like process debt that builds up in your business. I'm sure someone smarter than me has a, a better word for that. But when you, the things that you do as a hundred thousand dollar business aren't, unless you've designed with the idea of getting to a million, they're not going to work. You're going to find things that start to squeak wheels that start to fall off as you grow. And you need to be watching out for those and fixing them as you go. Now, Jobber getting that venture capital funding from the outset, being a tech play from the outset, they have a they built in a way that is more easily scaled. And also they were not making decisions early in the cloud era, right? The money for Jobber came in later and, and pulled off a build at a time when things were a little more settled and a little more standardized. So Copilot has the, the greatest ability right now to pivot. Um, their code base is, I would assume, the smallest of the three softwares we're talking about. And they are going to have, they're going to have the least technical debt of anyone we're talking about. But Jobber's kind of right there in the middle. You know, Service Autopilot, a little older, a little bit earlier in the push to cloud, first to market, you know, really, really big advantages 10 years ago. Okay, cons on Jobber, the add-ons are a little expensive, right? Like the email add-on, especially that they just recently added. I'm not a huge fan of you charging double what MailChimp charges for a, a base subscription when really all I'm paying for is convenience, right? I can export from Jobber. I can use, I already have a Zapier subscription because I'm a marketer. I can already integrate Jobber into MailChimp really easily for myself. Um, so I don't need to pay more than I would be paying MailChimp to send bulk marketing emails out of Jobber. So I, I won't be using that add-on in any, in any case. If you're not technically inclined, they can be worth it, right? That extra 15 bucks a month, that extra 10 bucks a month, whatever it is between MailChimp and using the, the email integration in Jobber, depending on the size of your list, MailChimp varies in price. 
it could be worth it for you to not have to go, you know, I already have a Zapier subscription, so I'm already paying for that for other stuff. So I don't have to worry about the cost of that, which is pretty expensive. It's a few hundred dollars a year. And then MailChimp, you know, will be a cheap subscription for me, but it's because I already have Zapier that I can make it automatic. If you had to do manual exports every time, that would be a pain in the ass. And I would not recommend doing that. Okay, I am about to reveal which of these three tools. I think some of you probably have an idea which way I'm going uh, to run my business. But before I reveal, drop a comment down below uh, predicting what tool you think I'm going to use. Uh, go ahead and lock it in now. I'll give you three, two, one. Hopefully you paused, you went down, and you left that. Okay, so talking with my partners, we went with Jobber, right? I need something lightweight. I don't need something that does everything that Service Autopilot does, despite that I know that tool really, really well. And I need more than Copilot can give me right now. So Jobber just happened to be that like, you know, the porridge was too hot over here. It was too cold over here. And this porridge was just right for me. So I don't know that what works for me today will be what I use in five years or 10 years or, you know, different milestones of the business, what will make sense. But for where I'm at with the business right now, the price to feature set to build quality ratios are exactly what I am looking for. And I have some really exciting news for uh, subscribers of the channel. As I was working on this video, I got an email from the Jobber team asking me to join their partnership program. I think I popped onto their radar when I crossed that thousand subscriber threshold. So I want to give a shout out to everybody who subscribed to the channel. Um, and I have a referral link down in the description. Now, Jobber's not paying me to make this video, but I do get, if you sign up through that link, I do get a, uh, a kickback from that. And I, if this video helped you make a decision on your lawn care CRM, I'd really appreciate it if you showed your support by signing up uh, through that link. That just helps support the channel, helps keep this kind of content coming. And uh, until next week, I've been Cody Owen. This is Lightspeed Social. I will see you next time.